what's going on everybody so today we just have a long day ahead of us I wanted to show why I bought the long range model 3 um, so the average American drives 15,000 miles a year which works out to around 41 miles a day or if you don't include weekends it's just a little over 50 miles a day um, I drive quite a bit more than that so today we have a really long day so we're gonna go from home to Ann Arbor we have some baby class I Sorry, Stephanie, when you watch this, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> um, but we have that, and that's going to take, like, all day. So we're going to the, – the car I'm just charging to, like, 90%. Uh, we'll drive down there. Uh, Sentry mode will be on while we're there, so that uses a little more battery. And then from there, we're going to go to Oxford, which is around 60 miles or so. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go home, which from Oxford, I think, is around 40 miles or so. I can put up a map and, and show you some of that stuff. Um, but with the short range, you know, I think it probably we'd be able to squeeze out the day uh, if we didn't have the range we do. This is just a lot more convenient even if I had my gas car still because I probably wouldn't be starting today with a full tank. At some point during the day, I'd need to go to the gas station and get gas. Um, but here, we get to fill up at home. We'll be full. We get to do all this driving today and then come home and be full again the next day. And I wanted to show that even if you do a lot of driving, you have a busy life, you're, you're going a lot of different places, a Tesla just works great. So electric cars, you know, are usually looked at as convenient when you don't do a lot of driving, you're just kind of staying, you know, close to your home, which they're, they're good for that too, but, but now the range on these cars are so good, you can also be really busy. You can do tons of driving every day, um, and it actually, for me, ends up being more convenient than gas, since I'm full every morning. So what exactly are we doing today? Do you want to share? We are taking a childbirth class. And why do we need pillows? Because they're going to teach us about different labor positions and things like that. Oh boy. And they don't provide pillows at this training. At the hospital there will be pillows. So we're heading to our first destination in Ann Arbor, uh, getting to drive normally. A lot of people think you have to sacrifice speed or anything uh, in a Tesla, but I wouldn't be going any faster than this anyway. Uh, not anything I'm going to worry about. So there's really no sacrifices with this. Okay, sometimes it's kind of a goofy spot for autopilot, so let's see if it behaves today. Yeah, look, it's <laughs> like wanting to take that exit. I don't know why it's doing that, but it fixed itself. Let's pretend that we're actually on the way to the hospital, like I'm in labor. <laughs> Saturday morning is the way to do it. Uh, yeah, I'd be panicking. <laughs> yeah, like don't drive actually as fast as you probably would be, but... Oh, do I get like a speeding, get away with speeding card? If you got pulled over, I would hope that... Oh yeah, they'd like lead us there? I don't know if they would do that or not, but I would hope that you could just be like, okay, I promise, like, I'm gonna slow down now, but I gotta get my wife to the hospital. No, I think he would lead us there. Really? Mm-hmm. That's what happens in the movies anyway. All right, we're pulling up. Hurry! We still got another we're couple months. We're pretending. Bro, this is the practice drive. <laughs> right? A couple months. Yes. Seven weeks. Seven give weeks. Or, give or take, you know. Oh my gosh. Oh, they've got pillows. Yep, those people must be with us. Alright, we parked. Sentry mode's automatically turned on. So we started with 274 miles, we got 230 left. Now, I wouldn't normally care or be looking at that. It's just to kind of, for the video, you know, update you guys on how everything's going. Let's uh, learn how to do this. All right, so we're off. We had a 
long class there, about seven hours. Learned a lot, <laughs> but uh, now we're heading to Oxford. So you can see we have 65 miles here. So today, so far, we've already went almost 40 miles. So that's about, again, the average a person does in a day. And that's just our first trip. <laughs> so we're not heading home, heading to the next stop. We'll be around 100 miles before we even get to head home. And the battery should be somewhere around 50% or so. Um, it was sitting out in, uh, it was really hot. Um, the overheat protection kicked on. So if you don't know in Teslas, if they reach uh, around 105 or 110 Fahrenheit, um, either the air conditioning or just the fans will turn on to cool the car off. So I have it set so just my fans will turn on uh, and that helps keep everything in the car from getting too hot. Um, and of course that uses a little bit of battery, not, not much since it's, just the, since it's just the fans rather than the air conditioning. Um, but yeah, it used some battery idling there. But uh, still, plenty of range, nothing to even think about. All right, just got a pretty complicated exit up here. We're gonna let autopilot handle it and see how it does. You can see here, it's a really tight curve. A little too slow for me. I'm gonna hit the accelerator a bit. All right, now I'm not. Now I am. <laughs> there are people behind me like, Come on, let's go. I don't think you can handle this part up here. High curvature warning. And then we have to instantly get over to the left. Make sure no, no, there's nobody there. The car did that. Hey, that actually worked really well. Get our speed limit back up. Yeah, that's pretty good. I hit the accelerator a bit to kind of push it, but uh, it did all that perfectly. Let's see if we can get behind this truck. All right. Not terrible. What did you think? I was a little frightened there. The <laughs> truck, but... Why? Because of them or because of us? A little bit of both, but I mean, I trust the car and I know like your hands on the wheel you're not going to let it hit the truck, and I, the Tesla would not hit the truck. Well, you never know. But you, that's why you got to pay attention, right? Yeah. Yeah. But nope, I was ready at any any second. Okay, check this out. We have a lane opening up, widening up here. Look at that. The car didn't center in the widened lane. I think it's fixed in this update. 2019.16.2, uh, so that is really exciting. That's what I've been complaining about for a long time. Now we just gotta fix Stephanie's uh, blind spot complaint. All right, so we're done with our last stop. We're heading home. The car still has half of its battery left, so no issues there. It's uh, really convenient to have left with the full battery and not have to worry about range at all. The Tesla's great. I'm more tired than the Tesla. I had a thought on the way here, like, oh my gosh, like we're not gonna have like any gas by the time we get home. Just cause it's habit. Like, cause if we were in my car right now, that's all I would be thinking about is like, oh, I'm gonna need to get gas tomorrow morning or, you know, because we drove a lot, but no, no gas. Yep, we get home and then the next day it's ready to go again. So yeah, it saves a lot of time. Okay, so we're all done for the day, just backing in. Uh, here's the stats right here. So we went almost 140 miles, uh, and we have over 100 miles left if we needed to do anything else for the night. But I think we've had a long enough day. Um, and then we can go over that in just a second. All right, so just a quick one for you today. I just wanted to show that electric vehicles are more convenient on a daily basis than a gas car. So we left with the full charge and then we get home with uh, 115 miles left. 
So if we needed to stop somewhere else, go to the store or whatever, we still have plenty to do that. And then tomorrow the car is going to be ready to do it all again if we need to. We won't be driving so much tomorrow. But um, I have a lot of days like this where I regularly travel over 100 miles. And if you do that two or three times a week, you're going to the gas station all the time. Um, so I save a lot of time. And then not to mention it's cheaper. So we use 34 kilowatt hours uh, and I pay about nine cents per kilowatt hour. So it's like three bucks or something, you know, that I'm paying um, for all that traveling I did today. So it's, it's really cheap. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.